in today's setups, I think there is a lack of spirituality in the marital setups. Many a times we see that because people are very much consumed with materialism and the need to possess mm. and the I want culture is all there. Mm. So it's reflective when we see uh, people looking to get married and the huge costs in wedding uh, ceremonies. Even I almost often say it, people off sometimes. it puts mm. some of our youngsters off because some of the requirements is that you need to have a car, you need to have a house, you need to have an amazing job, you need mm. to have a savings, you mm. have to have this and the other. I need to have, well, you know, some of our ladies I've spoken to who are looking to get married, they say, you know, it's once in a lifetime. I need to have <laughs> this uh, wonderful, amazing occasion. And, you know, by the way, today in the United Kingdom, it's been shown that an, on average, uh, a wedding costs 30,000 mm. pounds. Now, this might be quite difficult for, for example, a university student or someone who's just graduated with a huge burden of loans mm. to be able to afford something like this um, just because there's high expectations. Oh, well, someone else did it. And if I don't do it in a very lavish place, everyone will say, oh, this is not a great wedding. Mm. So I'll be the talking of, of, of the people. There's a whole culture of trying to please people uh, with, regard, with regards to your marriage. It's, what you're saying. it's all about, you know, meeting the standards that society sets mm. rather than what pleases Allah. And I think uh, there's two very important areas here that we learn from the life of Imam Ali Ali Salam and Sayyidah Fatima. First is spirituality. So in my humble opinion, having studied their lives as much as possible, and I've written a section of a book on marriage on the lives of Imam Ali Ali Salam and Sayyidah Fatima book is coming up very soon, inshallah. inshallah. Um, is the absolute most spectacular, most powerful quality of Sayyidah Fatima and Imam Ali in their marital setups is their servitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mm. and the fact that they had this connection to uh, the only beloved Allah wa ta'ala. Mm. So when Sayyidah Fatima alayhi salam and Imam Ali are asked by the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to evaluate the other, Sayyidah Fatima is asked, she replies, Ni'mal Ba'al, he's the best husband. But in which way? Imam Ali salam then quantifies it when he's asked about his beloved wife, Sayyidatun Nisa, the Lady of Light. The Prophet asks her and she replies, he replies, Ni'mal Awnu Ala Ta'atillah, that Fatima is the best aid, support, and assistance in the goal mm. of worshipping Allah subhanahu wa mm. ta'ala. Obedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Amir al-Mu'mineen summarizes Fatima in this wonderful line that if I was looking for the best individual to help me in my goal in life to be the best Abdullah, the servant of God, then I have Fatima. 